The class isn't going to follow the syllabus today. You'll see that I'm going to show you something that isn't in our textbooks. Many years ago, almost 300, these lands witnessed an extraordinary story of strength and brotherhood. We're going to learn about the brave Spanish captain, Francisco Menendez, a man who managed to change the course of his destiny in Spanish Florida, a sanctuary for freedom. This is the story of a young warrior of Mandica descent, born on the African side of the Gambia River. Between 1709 and 1711, he was captured and sold in Anglo-Saxon America, during a period when the English imported many African slaves to what we know today as North America. Damn, you better make sure we got them all. the young man managed to escape. For a while, he took refuge with the natives, who welcomed him as a brother. When he was ready to leave, they helped him reach Spanish Florida, where he was granted freedom under the protected land. The Spanish territories were a sanctuary that gave protection to the slaves, who managed to flee from the English plantations, granting them the letter of freedom. After the hellish escape, once safe in Spanish Florida, he swore to shed the last drop of his blood for the great Spanish crown and the holy faith. He was baptized Francisco Menendez and joined the territorial militia as one of the fiercest enemies of the English. When Captain General and Governor of Florida Spanish General Montiano met him in 1737, he was highly impressed with his loyalty, strength, discipline, and leadership qualities. He was head of the militia and was promoted to captain. Menendez took leadership of the Gracia Real de Santa Teresa de Mose Fort, better known as Fort Mose. His collaboration was key for General Montiano. He often carried out intelligence work and raids in British areas. During the War of Jenkins' Ear conflict and after a failed attack on the English soldiers, Unable to regain control of St. Augustine, Fort Mose didn't have the same luck. After the battle, it was in a very poor state, in precarious conditions, and with no prospect of recovery. Mose was destroyed. It was then that Captain Menendez enlisted on a privateer ship to continue fighting for the Spanish cause, attacking and plundering enemy ships. The English had put a price on his head, and during a mission in 1741, he was captured by the English ship Revenge. He was once more sold as a slave, and against all odds, managed to escape from the English again. In 1752, he returned to Florida for the reconstruction of Fort Mose. Ten years later, Florida would return to British rule. Captain Menendez, along with the rest of the Spanish population, emigrated to Cuba, where he founded a community called St. Augustine of Florida. <laughs> 